Hey guys, this is Sue Rabbit, the Hashtag Hero, and you are tuned into another episode of Hero Talks. And this is a weekly rant series where we talk about conscious conversation and inspirational tidbits, and we convene in the comment section of the video. So, if personal growth is your jam, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Oh my gosh, that was a lot to say. Whew. All right. Yo, today's video is all about let's talk transformation. Let's talk your impact. Let's talk your personal leadership. All right, so this is a complete rant. No notes today, and I'll tell you why. So, posted a story over the weekend, and in it, I posted the quote. It said, people are depending on your transformation I posted that quote and I was like guys I'm meditating on this quote this weekend and when I say stuff like that like I mean it like I'm really I'm really like that's my intention I'm gonna be focused like focus is one of my top strengths it is my top strength so <laughs> I literally focused on that for most of the weekend like just had it in the back of my mind like just meditated on it because it really like when I saw the quote it like I just it just felt like a punch in the gut it just felt like it was really like oh heavy on my heart so I was like you know what let me think about this like why you know like let me just think about this quote and yeah you can see I didn't post anything on Sunday but but I was thinking about this quote and really what I have come to realize is that I feel it in my heart because I have not been performing at my highest level, like the level that I know I can perform at. And in so doing, I've been letting people down. I've been letting people who are depending on my transformation down. Like given, given, let's just say that the quote is true, right? Like there are people depending on you to transform. If you are not transforming, those people are stuck in a loop yo like it's like you are very unique like it's only you who can help these people if you ain't getting up if you ain't stepping up if you ain't becoming what you need to become to help them they either gonna find somebody else which isn't gonna be you and and they'll be stuck like they'll be stuck in a loop like it just really hits home because it's like wow there are people waiting for me to step it up and you know, it doesn't seem too far-fetched of an idea because I can trace back like almost any miracle that has happened to me in my life where I met somebody or something cool happened. I could always trace back like, whoa, if I hadn't done X, this whole snowball effect would never have happened. Or, oh my gosh, if I didn't go, you know, to that event, I would have never met so-and-so or if so-and-so didn't give me that intro I would have never did this they would have never got helped and it's just the long snowball effect and so it just makes me more conscious to how I'm showing up and my commitment to show up even bigger better than I have been because I think also as somebody who's like perfectionist overachiever I've gotten this this exact coaching before on a few occasions from in different realms of different things they tell me that oh your 50% looks like a lot of people's hundred so it's like only people who really like be around me and know how I move they can tell you oh I can tell you're not really going all the way but you're fooling everybody else very funny and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> why? 100% is a lot of energy. Is a lot. Of, it's hard. <laughs> but it's for real, though. Like, I can think back to all the times where I've gone 100% and everything came together. A million things happened in a great way. And in addition, I'm also thinking of, here's a prompt for you. When was the last time you felt most significant? For me, it was 
any time that I've really stepped fully into my leadership role. Like, you'll know you're a leader if people just naturally start, like, putting you in these positions where you gotta, like, lead people, right? But here's the thing. You have to step up into that, right? The, the times where I feel like it has made the biggest difference for me was when I decided I'm gonna be a leader, I'm gonna do this. Purely my decision, you know? Like, some, some examples. Creating the hashtag here in the first place. I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, if I do this, I'm going to have to be the face of this thing. Like, it can't be faceless. Like, I'm going to have to be the hashtag hero. Also, because hashtag hero was taken. Dot com was taken. Um, but I was like, I'm going to have to be the freaking person. Oh, my gosh. And, like, I really had to sit with that for a couple of days until I was okay with it. Until I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Another time, when I had some of the first hero events or any event for that matter. Every time I do an event, I feel super significant because people come together and they meet each other and they have like all this magic happen. Like people have like gotten into long relationships, people have broken out of them relationships, people have made lifelong friendships through my events. You know, people discovered each other's music, each other's art, like signed up on each other's mailing list, all that stuff through my stuff. And I think to myself, I'm like, yo, if I didn't, do that y'all would not be best friends this would have never happened i wouldn't have met so and so wouldn't have had that interview wouldn't be where i am today like all of it just would never have happened the way that it is now so imagine if you were to step 100 percent, what you what you could be reaching like i couldn't write what has happened to me you know in the last five years let's just start there and one last, one last one that I realized that I stepped fully into my leadership role. So that's, that's what I want to ask you guys. When have you stepped fully into your leadership role? One of the biggest ones for me was when I was in a leadership program, right before moving to Berlin. I invested in this leadership program. It was not cheap. And I did it. <laughs> I did it. And it was a 90-day commitment. It was a lot. All right. There was a whole team. It was a lot. Um, and in it, we had to create different goals for different aspects of our life. So a lot of that also translates into what I made with the Hero Planner. And mine for community was I wanted to collect and donate 100, at least 100 personal development and personal finance books. Very, very niche, very specific. I was like, I only want personal development books and personal finance books. And I want to donate it to a teen shelter in New York. That was my thing. I was like, I want to do this dead of winter, middle of the snowstorm. I'm asking everybody I know who got books, the whole team on my back. They like, yeah, who got books, collected all these books, took a huge picture, had so many cool books and then like a blizzard happens i got a flight to catch i'm like oh my gosh how am i get these books to people and i got some support from my team and they dropped it off at this teen shelter in manhattan and for me like like even just thinking about it like it just makes me feel so powerful like you don't you just don't know what the ripple effect will be because i know for me what books have done for me like reading personal development books reading personal finance books i know the impact that that has had on me so for me to be able to like create a situation like that for others it it is it's like it's unlike anything i can even really explain you know and like I want to just do more stuff like that. I want to do it even bigger, even better. Like, shout it from the rooftops, you know? Some people don't even know that I did all of that. <laughs> and it's like, I want to do more. So this is what, this is my call to action for you guys. Like, think about how you're showing up. How you're showing up as a leader. This channel is for leaders. It's for leadership. It's for everyday superheroes. You don't want to just be bumblebee as a camaro like you want to like actually transform into what you suppose like your natural form is this badass robot but you over there being a camaro like come on <laughs> you know what i mean like let us be real so what i'm saying is tell me in the comments 
when you have stepped into that leadership role and what kind of impact you plan to do, you plan to have, what makes you feel significant. And if you don't know, that's cool too. Write that you don't know. We can brainstorm, we can figure it out. But it's better than not doing anything at all, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Meditate on that quote. People are depending on your transformation. So I'm gonna show up whole, a whole different way now because I really internalized it. I'm like, yo, people are waiting for me. Otherwise, they stuck in a loop. They stuck like this. And there are people silently raising their hand. It might not be super overt, like, oh my gosh, Super Ivy, help me with this. You know? But they be, they're, they're there. I just need to be cognizant. I just need to be aware that they're in my field. <laughs> they're in my field asking for help, but I'm just too busy, like, man, whatever, like, being a parked Camaro. Anyway. <laughs> That's all I got to say for today's episode. This has been Super Ivy the Hashtag Hero. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you're enjoying these videos, hit that thumbs up. If you're enjoying these videos, now I'll catch you on the next one next Monday. Hero out.